I'm Scott Peasley, this is Wild Generation. Today we're gonna to explore why blowing on a fire makes some go out and makes some stronger. In order to have a fire, you need three things. Fuel, oxygen, and ignition. When you need to blow on a fire, it's typically because there isn't enough oxygen, your fuel is too big, or your fuel has water in it. Sometimes your spark may be too small. However, in that case, blowing on it may actually blow out your fire. I chose a day when it had rained the prior night to demonstrate all of these previous examples. Therefore, my first task was to set out to find dry wood. I accomplished this task by finding a gray birch tree and taking the bark off of the outside. Then I took a stick. I broke it into a small piece and used my knife and the end of another piece of that same stick to open up the stick and get to the inside of the wood, which was not wet from the rain. The seasoned wood on the inside would make excellent kindling. Do not blow on a fire when it is small but growing. Allow the fire to grow on its own. You don't want to risk blowing out your small fire and then not being able to restart it. The reason you would blow on a fire would be to increase the flame. If you want to spread that flame, you need to understand that heat rises. So you want to blow on the coal base at the bottom of the fire to get the heat to rise upward. The flame will also spread in the direction that you are blowing. This will increase the intensity of the heat and allow the fire to spread to additional fuel. You should blow on a fire when it is out but still has a coal base. You can also blow on it if it is deprived of oxygen. This is a telltale sign if it is smoking, that it is probably deprived of oxygen or your fuel is full of water. You may also blow on the fire to spread the fuel that is not yet lit. Also do not blow on a fire when the flame has no fuel source to spread to. You'll just be blowing it out. You wanna provide a new fuel source for your flame and then allow your flame to grow onto that fuel source when you blow on it. This includes when the flame is at the top of a small fire. You need to add fuel on top of that flame so that when you blow on it, the heat will blow from the bottom upwards and ignite that fuel that's on top. But if there's no fire underneath the top of your pile, then when you blow on it, it will go out because it has no base. Small fires go out when you blow on them because they have no additional fuel source to spread to and you've blown the chemical reaction fire away from the fuel source that's provided. So you wanna make sure that you have an additional fuel source that you can blow the fire toward. Larger fires, on the other hand, will continue to grow when you blow on them because they crave that oxygen and there's plenty of fuel around to burn. So blow on a fire that is fuel rich and oxygen poor and avoid blowing on a fire that is growing on its own, but you are at risk of blowing out because it has not attached itself to enough fuel yet.